So All starting right. with the front, this is gonna be your tongue jack. It allows you to raise and lower uh, your trailer for vehicle connection. Mm -hmm. So you raise it and then lower it using that button right there, that switch. This is going to be, this switch here is for your utility light. Uh, of course, again, this is going to be, if you have any trouble uh, using this electronically, you have a manual jack handle. Let me get that handle. Yep. Just insert this handle into the jack, and it allows you to raise and lower your trailer. Got okay. it. Make, you want to make sure you put that plug or cover back over that to keep water out of it. Okay, go ahead and put this handle back in there. This is going to be your propane tank storage area. Um, you don't have to take the cover off to access the valve to open the floor propane, but we'll go ahead and take it off anyway. You're making this too easy, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these valves allow the flow of propane. So on the top, you see on. If you go counterclockwise, it'll open the valve. And if you go clockwise, it'll close the valve. OK. OK. Uh, if you ever need to uh, remove the tanks or take them off for a tank exchange, you loosen this wing nut. This bracket will become loose. And it unscrew these two hoses, and you can do a tank exchange. All right. OK. Go ahead and put your cover back on. Does that lock on at all, or does it stay like the cover yes. once, once so, it's on there? Yeah, it will. These, uh, like on the bottom, it has a hole here. This one has kind of been broken off, but we'll, gotcha. we'll fix that. But anyway, it has like a little bungee that goes from here underneath everything there back to the other side gotcha. of this cover. Gotcha. And it, it holds that on. Hooks it on. Okay. Yeah, you see that one on that side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other side has been broken off. OK. Uh, this battery here is going to be your deep cycle 12 volt battery, and it allows you to uh, operate your lights, your pump that push, pulls water up from your fresh water tank, sends it throughout your trailer to the toilet, the faucet, and the shower. Okay. It allows you to operate your radio, your awning, and these lights up here. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So when that's when you're boondocking or dry camping, if you're not connected, Going off it'll just, allow you to do that. Does it always come with just one, or can you can you, you add? You can you can uh, add another battery as well. Okay. And this same battery will allow you to open a slide if your trailer has a slide. Okay. It'll allow you to open and close that slide. Okay. okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So um, moving right one. along, um, this switch here allows you to uh, turn those lights on the front on and off mm -hmm. and it won't hurt anything you can leave them, those lights on or turn them off okay okay this light here has its own uh, switch that's right in the center yep. little push button switch this table here pulls out your little picnic table you just pull this strap down and it'll allow you to slot that picnic pull your little table, table out yes. so far that's my favorite part Yes, the picnic table. Picnic table is the best part. Yes. This uh, handle here on your uh, leveling jacks, the two that you have in the front and two in the back, if you ever have any problems lifting those or anything, this yeah. will allow you to manually raise and lower. So your, when, your you do, when you do uh, this on this side, does it do both of them at yes. the same time? Yes. So you don't have to do this one and then go up and do that one? Yes, correct, because okay. they're connected. OK, yes. got it. OK. Thank God for electronics and switches, though. Yeah, huh? praise be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this bracket with this hose and this, I'm sorry, this this uh, pipe, square pipe, yep. and this bracket allows you to use your great uh, stone grill, and it slides in here, locks in place, and it allows you to hook up your uh, propane hose to this quick connect. Mm -hmm. And once you're connected and you have your griddle connected, Right now, this little bracket is in the closed position for propane flow, but once everything's connected and you want to turn that on, just turn it in line, and it'll allow the flow of propane no, to your grill. Okay. Okay? And just, whenever you're done, just turn that, going that way, and it'll cut the flow off propane. Okay. And just make sure you put the little plug back in there to keep dust out. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So would that propane, would that work for any little grill? Yes. Okay, so yes. you wouldn't have to necessarily use just the black stuff. Correct. Okay, all yes. right, cool, cool. 
Make sure we got everything covered here. Going back to this little remote here. This is the remote for your leveling jacks. It'll allow you to operate your front and you your rear leveling jacks. Yes, oh, why not? Oh, no. okay. So, so right now it. it's in the extend position so you can retract. So whenever you remove your finger, it stops. Okay. Okay. Nice. Not bad, huh? That's pretty fast. That's that seems a lot easier than cranking. Yeah. Oh it. yeah. Oh. There you go. There you go. Not bad. That's, mm. I like this. That's that's pretty easy. And the rear is, operates the same way. Operates the same way. Yes. And that's way back there. Yes. Okay. And of All course, right. with the app on your phone, it will allow you to operate the jacks, the awning, the slide, and other things inside your tray. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. In that little uh, bracket here, you can snap your remote back on. Or, there or you go. You have that there. Yep. You have electrical outlet here, 110. Okay. Um, have any questions so far? Nope. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, moving right along, I know you see water leaking from the top, mm -hmm. uh, so that's a part of your gutter setup. You have that on this side and on the uh, driver's side, and the little beak type deal is sticking out. It just so uh, it kind of allows that to extend out from your trailer, so you won't get the water run and you won't yeah. get like dirt Stains dirt build up. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, any questions so far? Nope, so far so good. Okay, this is gonna be your door stop that uh, blocks that door from hitting your trailer. This door leads directly into your bedroom. Okay. Uh, this bottom lock, uh, using your keys, they, they have the same key that opens the uh, storage areas and your doors. Okay. So this bottom lock is gonna be a bed bolt. Okay. Okay, and uh, this top lock so right now, this is an unlocked position. Right. So whenever you lock this, this top uh, position, this won't open. Gotcha. It's going to be the same equivalent as the door knob that's in your house. Won't turn. Yes. Okay. Yes. And while you're on the inside of your trailer, this is going to be your dead bolt right here. Gotcha. You turn that, and that sticks out into the frame, and it won't allow the door to okay. open while you're on the inside. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, your screen door will detach from your main door. Just push down this little handle. And you can close that. And you can have fresh air in, bugs out. Oh, that's and, the best part. Yeah. <laughs> you need to slide somebody something, open that door, and there you go. <laughs> Got a bunch of kids? No, you can't come in. Here's your water that way. <laughs> push down to open it. Two ways to reconnect this to your main door. You can either push that down and lock it, or you can just open it. It'll lock in place. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Nope. Okay. We'll go ahead and close that door. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oops. I left the deadbolt out. There, <laughs> there we go. We go. <laughs> so on these steps, they do fold up and in. Okay. So you just kind of grab them, fold them up. Keep going. Just kind of pick up on it and push it in. Okay. Okay. That's easy. Easy yes. Close that. On your awning, um, it has to switch to operate that awning on the inside, your main board, electronic area. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you download the app, you can operate the awning on your phone as well. Oh, okay. I was going to ask that if you can do that on the app too. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, these two speakers. Um, so this is going to be zone two of your entertainment system or your radio. Okay. The speakers that's on the inside is zone one. Okay, you can, you can use both of them at the same time, or you can press zone one and turn off zone one and only operate zone two, or you can turn off zone two and have zone one. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, this little field area right here, that fills up your fresh water tank. So, you know, like your gas tank on your vehicle, uh -huh. and you have to fill it up. This is equivalent to that, but you put your fresh water in here. So, like, if you're out traveling, boondocking, dry camping, this is where you'll be pulling your fresh water uh, from. When you, after you fill it up, you stop on a trip, you turn on your pump, it'll allow water to flow to your faucet, gotcha. your toilet, and your shower. So your shower water, yeah. drinking yeah. water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, I believe this is a 25 to 30 gallon water tank. No water, no 
shower. Really no, dirty yeah, trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So can you just hook it up to any 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 hose? little water hose? Okay. And just kind of push it in there and open the valve and allow it to fill up. Okay. And when it's full, it'll allow water to kind of spit out here. Okay. And it's got a hose on the bottom. Somewhere. You can't really see it. It's kind of up in here. Uh huh. It's kind of up past that frame. But once this is full, if water don't come out here, it'll start coming Pouring out the out hose. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Right here, this is going to be the back of your refrigerator. It's no maintenance or anything, but if you want it to go in there or if you want it to add bug screens, this is the way to do it mm -hmm. to open that. These two little tabs here, you can use a screwdriver, or you can just kind of use your finger to turn them up and down. And you open that cover and you can get to the back of their refrigerator. Okay. And if you use, wanted to put bug screens on here, they would go there, there. Just like a little vent? Yes. Okay. Yes, it just covers that up. to keep like the dirt divers and the wasps and stuff like that from coming in. Getting in there. make it a home. Oh gosh. That would end the trip quickly. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's sealed off pretty good back there and around. Yeah. So they probably wouldn't make it to the other side, but they'll be make back. a home back yeah, here. Yeah, be yes. back in all your stuff. Yes. Any questions so far? Okay. Making, making pretty much sense. Okay. This is going to be your exhaust area for your furnace. So whenever you have your furnace or your heater on, it's going to allow heat to come out about that far. It won't burn you, but just to be aware of that. Right. Okay. Don't get too close to that. Yeah. Okay. And you can, if you wanted to, you can put bug guards here and there to keep bugs from going in and making a home okay. whenever you're not using that. Got it. Okay. Another electrical outlets here. Yeah. 110. Okay. Two of them, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, on the output, just like it says, cable, TV, satellite, antenna output, it's this area for your coax connection. Okay. You screw that on here into the back of your TV. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is gonna be a bracket for like your TV, to hang your TV here. Mm -hmm. And this comes up and off, and that's gonna be the area where it hangs at. Okay. You just kinda drop that down and push it in. And if you push down, it'll lock it in place. Okay. So the TV won't fall off or anything. Okay, and then you'll take that off whenever yes. you travel yes. and then put it back on whenever yes. you, okay. Okay. And it's got a bunch of different bolt patterns for whatever TV. Whatever size TV yes. you've got. I, I believe it'll go up to at least a 35-inch TV. Anything uh, below that, it'll hold that. It'll hold that, too. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, up here, this is going to be the uh, exhaust port for, like, your vent hood on top of your stove. Oh, your stove, okay. Yeah, so when you turn that on, if you're cooking bacon or whatever, smoking, if you open that, it'll allow that to exhaust out. So right now it's in the closed position, mm -hmm. but you see like the two little feet yeah. part on it? If you push up and pull that out, it'll open that. Okay. Okay. And then when you want to close it, just kind of push up and go in. It pops in real easy. Pop it back down. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Okay. Um, right here, this is going to be your water heater. Okay, to access this water heater, this little tab is spring-loaded. So you can just kind of pull it and twist it to uh, line up with that little cutout. Okay. And then you can just kind of grab that and open it. And you can access your water heater. Okay. Okay. That one uh, looks scary. Yes. <laughs> well, it's not too bad if you ever decide, like, to winterize this, meaning uh, take this plug out and drain the water out of your water heater. Uh -huh. Before you use that water heater again, you want to uh, put that plug back in there and fill this, your water heater up with water. There's two ways to do it. You can, you know, pull water from your fresh water tank or you can have your water hose connected to it on the other side mm -hmm. and uh, allow water to flow through your trailer. And the way to tell if this is full, just pull this valve. If you see water come out that valve, it's this full. is full. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, any questions on that so far? What is uh, well, if okay. you're going to have it stored up somewhere, but like if you're using it during the winter or if you're just going to have it on, it's fine. It won't hurt it. So yeah. as long as you're using it, yeah, keeping it everything warm, you should yes. be fine. If it's be fine. sitting by itself. I would go ahead and take that plug out and allow the water to drain, drain itself. Because if not, it'll freeze and it'll crack the tank. It'll crack the tank. Yes. Okay. And that'll be a whole other project. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will have to come out. Tank will have to be replaced. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got it. Okay. 
Any questions so far? Perfect. Uh, this is resettable, so to reset that, this is like a seesaw. It has the seesaw effect. Uh -huh. So if you push, if you push on here, you'll feel one that's kind of bulging out, and one is pushed in. Yep. So if it, if you ever have a problem with it and need to reset it, just push the one that's bulging out. It'll go in, and the other side will come and out. And then just switch yes. it if it happens yes. again. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so to uh, reinstall this, you see the little holes on the bottom right there? Mm -hmm. It's got some pegs right there, right okay. there. You just kind of sit that in place on the pegs. And just kind of line that up. And there you go. Okay, Perfect. just pull that, turn it to opposite where to cut out, and it'll lock that closed. Okay. And we do have uh, bug guards to kind of go on here and keep the bugs from going in there and making a home. Okay. Okay. I would definitely sign up for all the bug guards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't like bugs, huh? <laughs> so right here is another door stop for your main door. And you open that door. It keeps that door from banging into your trailer. Okay. Okay. And this operates the same as the bedroom door. You got the screen door here that opens and or detaches and reattaches. And you got, while you're on the inside, your dead bolt. Your dead bolt. Yes. Okay. And of course, while you're on the outside, the bottom lock is your dead bolt. Right. And the, the top lock is to lock this handle where it won't open. Right. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So far, so good. So we'll go ahead and open that, and I'll show you how to operate your fold-up steps. Okay. okay. Yep. So to store these for travel or to fold them up, you just kind of raise that up. It goes in and locks in place, and it just kind of locks into the frame of that door so okay. that the steps won't fall inward, or when you open the door, they won't fall out oh. and hit you. Okay? Okay. And to get ready to bring those steps back down, this little blue handle, just push it toward the front of the trailer. It'll allow you to uh, grab this handle and pull your step down. Okay, these legs are adjustable, so if you go somewhere and the ground is unlevel or whatever, you push either one of these tabs on e either side. So this tab allows you to, ex to extend this leg out, mm -hmm. or if you push it, it'll allow you to bring it in. Okay. Okay, and that's either one of them or both those. Okay. Okay. In the trailer world, this is called the helping hand, and it is <laughs> spring-loaded. So whenever you want to fold this up or store it, you just kind of push up. You can fold this way or after the steps are folded up and the door is closed, you can fold it that way. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. This is going to be your outside kitchen area or refrigerator. And you have your locks here, your little manual locks. And this is going to be your key lock right here. Is that key the same as the same, doors? Same as the door. Okay. Yes. The only key is different. You have a key to your outside shower, and it's going to be metal and plastic. And I'll show it to you here. Okay. Okay. So these two magnets here will connect together and hold up your doors for you. Oh. On nice. all of your exterior doors or okay. covers. Okay. Perfect. So that's what's got it. That's nice. Magnets. Yes. So this is going to be your little uh, mini refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Has the uh, temperature adjustments in the back. Okay. Okay. Your little, uh, I guess, whatever. If you want to cut something up. Yes, cooktop, yeah. storage area here. Okay. It's going to be your bottle opener there. Oh, that's important. Yeah, got to have that. Necessary. Yes. <laughs> and you got an electrical outlet here okay. and an electrical outlet there. On that side. Awesome. Okay. And you have these switches here for your lights. Of course, on any of the lights, just like these type of lights. They've got a little button. Yes, you can go to it and turn it off okay. as well. Uh, you got your little blue light in there as well for your little night light deal set up. Oh, yeah, See that? <laughs> yeah. So both of them are on the switch, your main lights and that blue light. Okay. Okay? Yep. Now, I don't know if y'all noticed that. It's kind of kind of light out here, but in the dark, like this switch right here controls a light that's kind of sitting oh, back I... and underneath so that it'll kind of shine light out so that you can see the steps. For your stairs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Like if you're out in the country or something and it's real no dark. No lights or anything. It gives you a little light to kind of light up the path to the steps. Okay, cool. Okay. Got it. Any questions? Any? Nope. Okay. 
Perfect. Get you good at this. That's, that's what it is. Is that what it is? You're going over everything. It's I'll, I'll find out if y'all leave on your trip and I don't hear <laughs> And we got to call you? Yeah, <laughs> which that'll be fine either way. This back bumper here, it's hollow and you can store your dump holes in it. So these caps will come off either side. You just grab it, they'll come off. Oh. And they are vented, so if you put a dump hose or whatever in there, it'll allow it to dry out. Air itself out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. This ladder is gonna be for roof access. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, it has a weight capacity of 250 pounds. So when you get on it, it might just flex just a little bit, uh -huh. uh, but not much. Okay. It's pretty sturdy. And the only reason you needed to be up there was check you, seals and... Yes, if you want to go okay. up there, see what's going on or whatever. Sunbathe, maybe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, your trailer is going to be pre-wired for a rear camera. So the mount is already there. You know, like when you go in the parts section, it's got like a little demo area yep. with the cameras. That's the mount, and then the camera is not there, but it's optional to be added. To ins okay, yes. got it. Okay. Yep. This is gonna be your spare tire, same size as the tires that's on the trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is gonna be your outside shower. Let me get the keys so we can open that and you can y'all can see what key opens that. Okay. Okay? All right. Be right back. Perfect. We should really go camping though. Or maybe have someone drop it off for us so we don't have to tow it. Okay. <laughs> so remember we talked about the keys? Oh, yeah. So these all silver keys go to everything else, the front door and all of your outer compartments. And these two keys are the only keys that Level they only go to the shell. Okay. Yes. And so right now, just keep in mind, we're boondocking or dry camping, meaning we're pulling water from your fresh water tank that you had in there right. before you set out on your trip. And we're, we're distributing water throughout your trailer, the shower, the, fa the faucet, and the toilet. Right. So right now, we're going to turn this on so you'll see how it operates and how far it'll allow the water to go. You got a hot side and a cold side valve. Oh, that is nice. And you got the kids can't come in. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Or the Get dog. Out. Your feet is dirty. Yeah. And then, or you can you can set it right here on this little mount and turn it on and kind oh, of. Oh, that's nice. Wash yourself off. I like that feature. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes. Okay. Any questions? Yep. Okay. Right here, this is where your main electrical cable connects, and just like it says right there, 50 amp. Mm -hmm. Your trailer's a 50 amp trailer. Uh, and it says it right there, uh, 50 amp. Okay. Uh, you're, uh, just in case you're wondering, your cable is going to be 36 feet long. Okay. Just in case you're back into some place and they ask you. How, how long? long? Yes. It's 36 feet long. Uh, this is going to be your place where you hook your water hose up where it says city water connection. Okay, so if okay. you're at a camp spot. Yeah, if you're at a camp spot or at home or whatever, you can hook your hose up here and open your valve and allow the water flow directly into your trailer. With that going, you don't need to use your pump. Right. The pump is only when you don't have that option. Okay, so that automatically pushes it into everything. Yes, okay. pushes it right there. It's right, just like at your house. Okay, all right, okay. that makes sense. And just whenever you're done with it, you just snap that close. Just like it says right here, cable TV satellite input. Remember the other side, it was output to your TV. This is input. So if you go to a campsite or at home or whatever, you want to hook your coax there for satellite, yeah. cable or whatever, this allows it to go into your trailer, Okay. the signal. Got it. Okay. Right here, this is going to be for your black tank flush. Your black tank is your tank that's connected to your toilet. So right. whatever goes into your toilet goes into your black tank. Right, right. So this is gonna be the flush. So whenever you decide you wanna flush that tank out, you can. So you would hook up a water hose to here and either before or shortly after that black handle where it says black holding tank, you wanna make sure this valve is open. Okay. Before you flush that out. Because if this is still closed, you hook your hose up to here, open that valve. It's pumping it's water. Up, nasty stuff in your trailer. Oh gosh, okay. So just make sure this valve is pulled out 
and it's open. Okay. And it'll allow you to just rinse that out. Gotcha. Okay. Any questions? I think one of your mics turned off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Are we dead? Uh, no, should be. <laughs> should be okay. Just actually, let's switch out your mic because this one okay. might be dead. And this is a little more important. I could be talking too much. No, no, it's okay. Hey, okay. you're doing good. Same. Yeah, here we'll switch okay. it out there. What up, Brian? How's it going? Do a little walkthrough video. Oh. You want to get in on it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay, up here, this is going to be your security light, kind of like a porch light. Mm -hmm. And so it has a switch on the other side to turn that on or off. Or if you got your app on your phone, you can operate that as well. Okay? Yeah, sounds like yes. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> you love the app. So, right here, just like it says, gray water holding tank. Gray water holding tank, you got down here, it's gonna be two valves for your gray water holding tank. So you got one further up front, and then you got one further back here. Same as the black, whenever you get ready to dump any one of your tanks, just pull your handles out, and it'll allow whatever contents, whether it's gray water, black water, to come out through this, hole, this pipe, down through your uh, dump hose, uh -huh. and to your dumping station. Gotcha. Okay. Would you recommend dumping your black tank and then yeah. the gray water? Yes, it, it, it is recommended to dump the black tank first and then rinse it with the gray water. Okay, all right, yes. that makes sense. And uh, so your dump holes will pretty much look just like this on the end because it goes here and snaps in place. Uh -huh. Okay, and I am told when you're going down the road that you want that on there because if not and it's dangling like it was, right. you can get a three to $400 ticket. DPS or whoever. Really? Yes. Good night. Okay. Isn't that terrible? That's, That's free money. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yes. So any questions so far? Nope. Okay. But one more thing. I'll go back to this. On your main uh, electrical cable. So this right here screws in to pretty much lock this in place. Mm -hmm. So whenever you want to disconnect this, just unscrew that. That'll come loose, and you just turn this part to the left, and then you pull it out. Okay. Okay? Yes. And so whenever you get, same in reverse, whenever you get ready to plug it in, you just push that in, you know, inward till it goes as far as it can, turn it to the right, and it locks it in place, and then you put that back on there. All right. And they do have a little light on the top, light indicator. Once you plug it in, it has power wherever you plug it at, just to show you we got power. So you can make sure you got yeah. Power. Okay. okay. This is going to be your slide, uh, your uh, living room, living area slide. And uh, your trailer, it is capable of having slide toppers. So, for that little plastic cover in and that little bracket that it's on in there, uh, slide toppers can be added to it. And all the slide toppers is just like little awnings that go in with the slide and come out with the slide. Keep three off yes. Your slide. Yes. Okay. okay. Got it. This is going to be another exterior storage area. Pretty good size, huh? It is a pretty good size. Is that under the couch? Yes, it's going to be under the couch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Further down, where it says low point drain, uh, that low point drain is going to be here. It's going to be this little white valve. Okay. So, okay, right now it's in the closed position. Whenever you want to drain your fresh water tank, you'll turn that valve to the opposite position that'll allow water to drain out. Okay. You we're... just turn it. We'll go ahead and turn it now and, and turn it back. We'll open it. So right now the valve is open, so it's draining your fresh water tank. Okay. And you just let it go until it stops. When it stops, the fresh water tank is drained. It's okay. empty. Okay. Okay. But we'll go ahead and close it back now. But you was going to ask me a question. Is that for like a storage purpose, just to get everything out of the trailer? As far as here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you remember your fresh water tank that we talked about that you fill up on the other side? Right. So that is. That's, okay. And that's the only way that you can drain that tank is okay. this valve. Got it. Okay. Yep. Right here, this is going to be your trailer information. 
your manufacturer, your year of manufacture, it's going to be your VIN number, and it's going to be tire information, your PSIs and your tire, tire sizes on that right here. On this little uh, sticker here, it's going to be your weight capacity stick. Same as that, pretty much your tire spec information, your PSI, your max PSI, and your sizes of your tires. Okay, okay? and this is going to be your driver's side on your storage. So it, you see it's a, a pass-through, so whatever you slide in here, yeah. it'll you can access it from the other side as well. Like kayak? Yeah, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love kayak. Yes, so right here you got another light. That little uh, red looking switch right there, that's gonna be a battery disconnect. So say for instance, if y'all have it uh, stored up or whatever, and you're worried about your battery draining, it's in the on position now, but just if you want to disconnect your battery from your trailer, you push that in and turn it to the off position. It'll disconnect your battery from your trailer. Okay. Just remember that whenever you get ready to use it again, if you plug everything in to try to use it, and that switch is still in the off position, you won't get lights and certain things. Right. You have to make sure you turn this back to the on position. Like and that's on the battery? Yeah, on the battery. So on. when you're plugged in or anything like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, I mean, that's up to you if you want to turn the battery off. You don't have to. That's just an option. Okay. Okay. When you're plugged in, does it charge those batteries at yeah, all? Yes. You do have what's called a converter, uh -huh. and I'll show you once on the inside. That converter uh, supplies power throughout your trailer to everything, TV, microwave, battery, everything. Okay. Right. Okay. Got it. Uh, this side is it. We're done on the outside. Y'all have any questions about the outside? Got anything you want to go over? Okay. So whenever y'all are ready, we can head to the inside. All right. So after y'all, ladies first. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm going to bring y'all back over here to the corner so I can oh. kind of explain some things. Okay. I'll try to stay out the way and let y'all be more hands-on. So you see that vent on the bottom, uh -huh. that black vent? Yep. So all of your vents on the bottom, whether they're on the side of a wall or on the floor, mm -hmm. that's where you're going to get your heat from when you turn on your furnace. Okay. Okay? You got your uh, fire extinguisher. This is going to be your, um, your propane leak detector here. So okay. if you look at it far enough, or if you put your hand right there, see that green light that's yep. on my hand? It's just more or less saying, okay, I'm on and I'm ready to go in case there's a propane leak. Okay. And so um, it has a test button on it, and we'll do a test so you can see how it sounds if it actually goes off or if it's a leak. Okay. Okay? And you can test it from time to time if you want to make sure it's working. It's still working. Yeah. So that little button is there. That's what it sounds like doing a test because it's going to run for a couple of seconds and shut off. Okay. But if it's a real leak, that same sound is going to stay on until you find the propane leak and shut it off. Gotcha. Okay. But the more immediate way to shut off your propane leak is to go to your tanks and close the valves. Close the valves. Yes. Okay. Okay. So in a panic moment, close those yeah. first. Yes, if you want to do that. And of course, come back, open your windows, and open your doors, and let it, let it air out. out. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You got your GFCI connection right here. Uh, anything or any areas around water, you'll have these. Okay. So right now it's in the normal operating position, but if something happens and it trips, you'll see that red light. Okay. And so once the red light come on or once it trips, it won't supply power to whatever areas it's connected to. It. Gotcha. Because it, it's a, pre a prevention to keep you from getting electrocuted. Okay? Got it. So to reset it, you just push the black, and that red light will go away and it's reset. You'll get okay. your power back. Okay? Got it. Storage area here. Oh, shoot. That goes back kind of far, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Under the kitchen sink. Yeah. And you can access that from the other side as well. So up here is going to be like your manual controls. Um, I want to try to get where. Okay. Okay, now kind of hang here 
where y'all can kind of see everything. Okay. So it's kind of grayed out now, but when you start pressing stuff, it'll light up. Light up. So right here, number one, it's like a preset for your lights. Uh -huh. If you didn't want to go through this panel on some of your lights and some of the things, you can just press number one. You see how it, it turned off some things, turned off some lights and left some lights on. Yep. So all of the lights that this don't turn off or turn on, it has a manual switch in the area where the light is located. Got it, okay. Okay? So this, this number one is preset for some of your lights that's electronically controlled on the inside of your trailer. Okay? So we'll turn that on. Number three is programmed for your electronically controlled lights on the inside and on the outside. Okay. Okay, so you press that, turn those lights off, and it turned on anyway. letting everybody light it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll turn it back on. WP is, uh, all that is is for water pump. You got an uh, area in here that you can go through and get the water pump, or if you didn't want to do that, just press that, and it'll take you to that area, and it'll also turn off that water pump. Okay. okay, so if you didn't want to go through your whole control section up here, you can hit WP, see how I went from off to on, Right. see how it's going. And you'd only need that on if you weren't hooked up back it, yes, there. Okay. Yes, and you would be pulling water from your fresh water tank. Right. Okay, so since we're in the water area, you see where it says heater electric, mm -hmm. and you see where it says uh, yeah. gas heater, so you have two options to heat your water. So right now, or wherever you're at, if you're around power, you can plug in your main cord and you can keep your water heated using the electrical strip that's in that water heater. Okay. Okay? Or you can use your gas water heater. And the way to change that, you just hit select. You see how it went past electric and went down to gas? If you want to turn that on, you can hit on and it'll turn that on. Okay. I'm going to go back and turn off the electric. So you can turn it either on from here or off using here or there. Okay. Okay? So we turn that off on the electric side, but we tried to turn it on using gas. Now on the gas, you see how it had that little warning right. and it went off? So it's just more or less letting you know it wasn't on yet. Oh, but any pause. Yes. So anytime you see that little warning, it's just more or less saying, hey, you turn me on here, but I'm not physically on. Gotcha. It takes so a second. Yeah, it'll take a second. And I don't know if y'all heard it, but like if it's quiet enough, anything that lights my gas, you'll hear it go tick, 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 tick. If, if it's electronically lit, you'll hear it ticking and then it'll light. Yeah. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And so it's owned by gas. And so like I said earlier, to save your gas, if you plug into electric, you just turn off your gas. Oops, let me go back to gas. Turn that off. Then we'll go back to electric and turn that on. Okay. Okay, but that's your option. If you want to, However, use gas yeah. however you want to do it you just have an option to heat your water whether it be electric or gas okay okay any questions so far nope. okay uh, so up here we talked about the pump so whatever you wherever you want to go to or select this is the selection button the sel right. allows you to go from gas heater to pump or electric water heater so we're on pump and if you want that off, you can just hit off and it'll turn it off. Okay. Okay? We're going to turn it back on because we're going to use other use, stuff. Useful purposes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay? So you got two options or three actually if you got the app on your phone. If you want to turn the water heater on or off. Okay. Or if you want to turn the pump on or off. Or you can do it here. So that's here. That's uh, three ways. Here going through the uh, panel. Here. One button. Yes. Or on your phone. Okay. Okay? Same way as this, this is a little, another icon, this little uh, thermometer there. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't want to go through here and if you want to turn on your AC unit, you press that, it'll take you straight directly to AC. Nice, okay. Okay, so it allow, this section allows you to operate the AC, your fan, or your furnace. Okay. Okay, so where it's at now, you can uh, use the, uh, the up and down arrow to turn the temperature down or turn the temperature up. Okay, and if you want to go to another section, say for instance you want to go down here, you hit the SEL, select, and you can go whether it be just to cool. If you want to turn it off, it's on now. You see how it took a second and it went yeah, off? It off? And you just press it again, it'll go to fan. So if, say for instance, it's nice and cool outside, you don't want the AC on, you just arrow down to fan and it'll have the fans on, pulling oh, the air from the outside. Yes. Okay. You press it again, 
We go back to furnace, turn on the heater. Yes. Cool, auto, like at your house. If you set the, uh, the thermometer, whatever temperature you have it on, once it reaches that temperature, it'll either stay on or it'll shut off, just okay. like at your house. That's auto. So, but if you just want to go to cool, it'll stay on all the time. Okay? That makes sense. Uh, that's pretty much this section. Like I said, if you want to go from whatever you want, you can hit SEL. It'll take you from one area to the next. And then that's yes. going to tell us what our actual temperature is right now. Yes, at the top, yes. And at the bottom, that bottom arrow, you see how it's on AC fan? Uh, what is this? High. high. So if you arrow down, you can go from high to low. Okay. Okay? Yep. And when you want to go to the next uh, section, you see this little page button, the little icon? You just press that and it'll go to the next area. So right here it says settings and it says pair device. This is if you want to download the app to your phone and you hit pair device, it'll allow you to uh, download that and it'll connect to your phone and you can do different things using your phone. Okay. Okay? If you want to go down, I'm sorry, SEL, that's for advanced, so uh, your trailer might come with some uh, some little probes or little setting. Uh, how I want to put this? Extra it's, bits. Well, yeah, it's got some little screw-on deals that tell you the PSI and the temperature of each tires. Oh. So okay. you can go into that and you can look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some trailers come with it, some don't. Gotcha. And they they screw on to the uh, oh, 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 tire the valve stem. Yes, tire yes. pressure monitor yes. screws on to the valve stems, and it allows you to uh, watch the PSI as well as the temperature of it. Because if you're going down the road, if you got that on your phone, it'll give you a warning. Hey, you just had a blowout or you're losing air pressure oh, gotcha. in your tire. Okay. Okay. Right. Press it again, just like it's set, I'm sorry, SEL again. Uh, it's, it's, in, it's set in Fahrenheit right now. If you want to change that to Celsius, you can by using arrow up or arrow down. It'll just go from F to C. Okay. Okay. And down here at the bottom, that's more or less the GPS location of the trailer right there at the bottom. Where you're located Yes. At. Okay. Yes. Okay, press the page button again. It takes us to tanks. So this is the indicator that tells you the fluid level or the content levels that's in your tanks. So right now, you're at the fresh water tank and you have two thirds of water or liquid inside your fresh water tank. Okay. And so whenever you fill your fresh water tank, it won't go from like, once you fill it, it'll, it'll go to one of those little black squares. Right. It, it has to go from one third to two, to two thirds or three thirds okay. or full. Right. So if it's not there yet, you won't see anything. You'd be like, I've been running water for five minutes, but it's not showing. It has to get to that certain area sure, before it'll show sure. up. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so you got your gray tanks, you got your two gray tanks, it operates the same as your fresh water tank. The full levels of the contents in it, it'll go from like, like I said, one third, two thirds, or full okay. on both of them. And the black tank, same thing. Okay. okay? Any questions? Okay. Next page. It's going to be back on the water section. So we're pretty much done with that. If y'all want to go back over, we can, but if not, we can move on. Yeah, we can. Okay. Pretty... Okay. So living room lights is just a living room light switch. Press it, light goes off. Same lights that's electronically turned on and off, except the lights that's on the switch. You have to manually turn those off. Okay. Okay. Turn them back on. You can do it there or down there on your phone. Security light. Remember that light we talked about on the side? Right. That's your security light switch right there. Okay. Okay. Awning light, that's just going to be this light right here. If you want that off, you press it, it's off. Okay? One thing we didn't cover on your other page that we skipped. So right here for motors, it's going to be your awning, like it says awning one. EXT is going to be for extend, RET is for retract. So we'll go ahead and hit EXT because I want you to see something. It's kind of partially out, so we'll go ahead and push that till it comes out. Once it's all the way or fully extended, you'll see a flap that's going to come down. It's going to be about a foot long, yeah. and that'll be extended as far as it'll go. See that little flap right there? Yeah. That's it. 
And yeah, that's done. So, like, if say for instance, y'all had somebody in here that didn't know how to operate that, or some little kids, if they keep pressing that button, it won't break. See how it's unrolling from the top? Right. It'll just uh, roll up, but it'll roll up from the bottom. Oh. It'll just keep going, but it'll roll up from the other way. Yeah, true. Yes, if okay. you just keep holding that switch. Okay. Okay. Um, two things I want to show you on the honeys, one on each side. So if you ever wanted to uh, more or less extend this out a little bit or, or drop or kind of tilt that down, okay. you have these right here. These are tight now, but you would have to loosen up this side and the other side, and then it'll allow that Ani to just kind of dip okay. down a little bit. Okay. But just make sure before you close them back up, you tighten these up, this one and that one over there. Okay? okay? Yep. And that's it on that. So one of y'all, would one of y'all like to retract the awning back in? Just press it, it'll light up. It's already set on awning, so just hit RET for retract. There you go. Not bad, huh? And I, I don't recommend it, like if it's extra windy outside, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend bringing it out because it might damage it. All okay. the way? Why not? Why not? Why not? Once it goes as far as it can, it'll stop. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and so the next item down, you can uh, hit SEL to go to the next item. So, you know, you remember what oh, that is? Yeah, yeah, front and rear. Yeah, yes. So you can operate that from on the inside or on the outside with your remote, or right. if you download the app, you can operate it with your phone. Okay. Okay, so just like it says, that's the front stabilizing jacks, yep. that's the rear. And that's your slide. Okay. So on your slide, we're going to operate that. Your slide will get to, let's see. What? It'll, okay, so your slide will probably come in maybe about this far. Uh -huh. So just make sure that, you know, I mean, it, okay. it really won't hurt it, but you want that door closed. And make right. sure, yeah, nothing's sticking out in that area that much. Make sure this is clear. Make sure this is folded in and make sure nothing's pretty much in that area or it'll, it could damage your slide or it could break whatever you have in front of it. Other than that, somebody could stand right in this area and you can close it. So I'll stand right here. Yes. Okay. So retract? Yes. See how it comes up and in? Yeah. And that, that's how it's supposed to be. That's the position it comes in when you retract it. Yes. And when you extend it back out, it's going to go out and back down into position. And when it's all the way in, you'll hear it click. It's got a clutch on it. It's okay. Keep coming. So that's just a clutch. It didn't break. It's just a clutch. Okay, okay I'm done. I'm here. Yes. Okay. So that's, that's how far it comes. Got it. Okay. So as long as you keep this area free, and pretty much nothing that'll be in this way in the area where it'll damage anything. Okay. You should be good. Okay? okay? Yep. So if you want to extend it back out, please. Well, that's kind of frightening. It's a scary. No, it's, it's it used good. to freak me out when I first started doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that noise, you're like, did I break it? Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> scary. You get used to it. I think because it's just so big. Yeah. It's one giant piece. You're good. Okay. Okay. So since y'all are right there, we'll kind of, I'll kind of explain that to you. I'm yeah. trying to stay out your way and explain I'll, it. I'll okay. So uh, right here you have your, your sink. You got your hot and your cold. Yep. Okay. Down below it, you got your storage area where the door is yep. underneath your sink. And got your little cubby hole. There you go. And your toilet, your toilet paper holder. Yep. Uh, where your mirrors are, you have more storage inside those cabinets. Um, so on the wall where Brian is on the inside, you got your light switches and you got your fan switch, that, the one on below. And so, so say for instance, somebody pushed that button right there. That's going to turn the fan off, and you won't be able to turn it on there. So as long as you leave it like it is, oh, 
Yeah, yeah. Like if somebody turn that off, it won't turn That's on right. there until you turn that back on. Okay. Okay. And to open that, where your uh, vent cover is up there, you go uh, counterclockwise. See, I can barely reach it. See how it's opening up? Yep. And if you go clockwise, it'll close it. Okay. Okay. Uh, your lights, just like the other yeah. lights, even though they operate on the switch, if you press the button, yes. Um, you got, did you see your little blue light right there? I did, yep. Okay. So it's your blue light, night light. Your shower area here just kind of slides, <laughs> kind of locks over there. <laughs> right here, you got your hot and your cold and your shower wand. Yep. And you got, of course, you got your skylight right there. Yeah. Okay, you got more storage on the side. Oh, that goes pretty far in there, too. Okay. Okay. On the side of you, you have your window. That window is, a, you have several different types of window that open different ways. That's a crank handle. So if you turn it, there you go. There, see how it, you turn it and, and you have to wait until it popped it, like, itself out? Itself. Yes. Okay. So it'll only go so far because it's like a vent window. Yep. Then you got your blackout shade that pulls down when you want to close it. Nice. So go in reverse whenever you want to look out the window. Of course, you got your little towel holder. Mm -hmm. And on your toilet right there, it's a little different from your home toilet. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you go ahead. So if you push that pedal all the way down, you can see how to flush it. And you see how it has rinse water that's rinsing oh, the toilet out. So go ahead and flush it and let it go real quick. Okay, now you see how it barely has water in it. Yeah. And so you notice like your home toilet, it's got the tank and it fills it for you. So you want to fill this up, just barely push that, that pedal down and fill it up as much as you like. See how it's putting water in there? Gotcha. So that's how you would fill that up and then fill it up to your heart's desire. Go ahead and use it and then push all the way down the flush. Gotcha. Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. Of course, another, the, all of the vents on the floor again is right. for your heater. Your heater. This is going to be your door to close for privacy. This little bungee right here, just pull that out and over that, and you can close that door. And this right here latches over there, and it'll, ups, it'll lock for you. Okay? Cool. And this little bungee just keeps this door from bouncing back and forth during travel. Right. Okay? So you just kind of pull that over and kind of it'll hold it in place. These little uh, devices that's attached to your wall, that's what's talking to your, uh, your AC and your furnace to tell it what the temperature is in the room. Okay? Yep. Any questions so far? So far, so good. I know so much on that now. Yes. So that's another vent similar to the one in the bathroom, but it's, it's pretty much better. So when you want to open this one, of course, you're going to pull down on that handle. Uh -huh. You hear how it came down? Yeah. And you, if you turn that. Come on. Maybe. Yes. Okay, so you're going to turn this. Remember, that one's counterclockwise to open it. This was clockwise. This is clockwise to open this one. Okay. And then it has uh, the on and off button, and it has four speeds right there. Oh. Not bad, huh? Okay. So. Great for yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. If you come in, y'all had been using it, it's extremely hot, you want to turn on your AC or your fan, you turn that on, it'll suck it out, suck out the heat while it's kind of cooling off. That does feel nice little breeze too, so I don't even think I was on the highest setting. Or if something burns really bad when you're cooking it, <laughs> you get <laughs> wow, man. turn that on as well. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yep. And just can't, yeah. I don't want to forget and then it rains in here or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got your clock. Uh, remember your two speakers that's on the inside. Yep. Here and there, it's going to be zone one on your radio or your entertainment okay. system. But we'll go back over that once we get to that area. Okay. Okay. Right here, it's going to be the skylight that's in this area. It's open. Just like the shades on your window. And to close it. Excuse me. Okay. Got it. Another little storage area here. 
and I believe I do believe these come out. Oh, yeah, all of these come out. So if you didn't want to use that or some of them or whatever, space. yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Manual light switches here. I'll stand out the way where you can. Okay. So you see the little light. You got light on the top and light on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, right here. You remember you talked about your storage on the outside. Oh, it's it's on the back. Okay. Yeah. So you got storage in the front as well. You got storage here, and you got storage right there as well. Okay. And if you had something that was too big to slide in, you could take off the little cushions here, and you can get to that bottom. Oops, I'm just messing it all up. <laughs> and these will come off. Well, I should. And allow you to put something oh, okay. that's, that won't fit through that way that you can sit down, and awesome. you can access that back from the back uh, cushion. Okay. Yes. Nice. From the inside. Nice. Okay. Okay. Put the jigsaw puzzle back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put the back in first. Thank you. Okay, so this tabletop will come off. It's got a little bracket that's down there and it, it attaches right here, yep. but this will come up and off. So how, see how it came off the bracket? Mm -hmm. And that bracket will pull up and off of there, or the pole, it'll yeah. come up and off of there as well. Okay. Okay. Does this convert to a bed? Yes, it does. When you take the so pole is that so yes, take once you out, yes take the pole up and off. You see, I've got those pegs right there, yeah. and there and there. So this will actually lay down on top of those. Yeah. We'll go ahead and pull that out. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. we'll just kind of raise that up and that. No. <laughs> Messing it all up again. So we'll just kind of set this here and there. Thank you. Just kind of sets in place. And you can put your pillows on top of it. You got that other bed for your company that didn't want to leave, that y'all couldn't get rid of. <laughs> okay. Nice, okay. So we'll leave that for now. I'll come back and fix it back up. Put it back up later. Yes. On your side window here. You see how this is like the school bus type window? Oh yeah. You have to push these two in raise that up. It's got like two or three positions it locks in place. Okay? So this back one here is the, this big one. You can either have two people or kind of grab it in the center. And, yes. Go like that. And these two windows open just like the window that's in your bathroom. They crank out. Yes. And so just like the one in there it has those seals on it, if it don't want to open when you first turn it, just give it a second or so, it'll pop itself out and you can open it okay. all the way. Got it. Okay. This light up here, just like the other ones, it had its own switch here and of course over there. Uh -huh. The same as this light, it has its own switch here, like in this bottom corner here. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Almost fell on video, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right there, got electrical outlet there. Right. On these, this window here, this is part of your emergency or emergency exit window. This pushes back and up, and it comes out, and you can just kind of push that out. That window will go all the way out and up. You don't have to worry about it. It won't fall because it's hinged at the top. Okay. And you can pull this and just grab that screen with your finger and pull it out the way. If you have to make your exit out window like the other ones. And of course, this screen will come off as well. Okay. Okay. This window is just like the other one, the school bus type window. School bus type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so on your little recliners here, these will actually come off these little, I guess, trays. Come up and off. Oh. Yeah, they just kind of sit down in there. Yes. Just sit down in there and lock in place. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yes. Of course, you got two more cup holders here. Got your little cubby here. And you have your rip cords for reclining. Yep. So when you sit down, it's a little rip cord right there that you pull. 
right here and one on the opposite side as well. Okay, and so to uh, bring that back in while you're sitting down, you have to use the back of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you can just have somebody to cheat for you and push it in. <laughs> so any questions so far? This is perfect. All right, so moving along to your entertainment section. We have storage up here. Uh, this TV looks like it might be on a swivel. Let's see, a lot of them, if it's on a swivel, it'll have like a strap on the bottom. Maybe, maybe not, let's see. Yes, this is on a, a fixed mount. Okay. So this one, some of them have it and some don't, yes. But the ones that'll swivel out, it'll be a strap hanging down at the bottom. Okay. Okay? Yes. So it's going to be the remote for your TV. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's like, you you know, you got your value controls, channels, and all of that menu. Yeah. And you, it is uh, pulling a signal right now from your digital antenna. Okay. Uh, so your digital antenna, it uh, if equipped, it'll have a Wi-Fi along with the antenna that's on top of your trailer. Okay. But it'll let you know in your in your paperwork that's inside right, your trailer. You okay. Yes. This is going to be the remote for your uh, electric heater. So right now it's just for looks that it's got it's the heat. yeah, it's no heat on it. So right now where the flame is, if you want to put off heat, you would press that button and it, it goes. It'll show you the temperature on it. Those other settings oh, and, and along with the light changes. And this has got the fan speed right there yeah. where the lines are. Right. And it's got a timer on it here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not exactly sure what that one is. <laughs> Let's not press that one just in case. Yeah, yeah. So, let me make sure. Yeah, that might just be a optional. So that's going to be just your light settings colors. as well. Yes, your darker colors. But in case you lose your remote or your battery run down, it's you, all right yes, to touch. Board. Yes, you can touch it right there. Okay. Okay. Nice. This is going to be the remote for your entertainment system. Okay. So anything, pretty much that you can do here, you can do there. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything that's amber or pink looking, it's off. Okay. So whenever you want to use it. Say the VT is for Bluetooth. Whenever you want to use it, just press it. Well, that stayed pink. But most all of your buttons will go from amber looking or pink to blue. Well, and uh, yes, okay. and you can connect it to your phone, your laptop, or whatever device you have this Bluetooth. Okay. It'll allow you to uh, stream from your to here. Okay. And you get your sound coming out, whether it be zone one or zone one and two, okay. or just zone two. OK? Nice. This is your volume control. Put it back on the radio. Find us something to listen to. Okay, so this is going to be for your to change your channels. These two buttons, zone one, zone two. Down here where it's kind of blacked out, it's got a rubber plug. But like if you wanted to plug something in there, it's HDMI. Oh, nice. And you can get your sound going through there. If you wanted to watch yeah. a TV movie yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. And uh, or if you wanted to hook something up for video, uh, DVD player, or whatever, it will plug in. This TV will come out. I just have to kind of get to the back of it. It'll pretty much come up and out, and you can plug something into the back of it. Okay, okay well, this PS5 or whatever. Okay. We'll put the plug back in there. It's going to be a USB for your phone charger, uh, the little aux button. And uh, this one don't have it. So normally it's like another little port with an aux plug in it, oh, yeah. but this one don't have it. Okay. You got your AM FM button, and you got either mute or you got off. So if you want to just mute that, you uh, burn, you touch it for a second, it goes into mute. Or if you want it off, just press and hold that. It'll say standby. It goes off. Okay. Okay. Got it. More storage here. More storage there. Uh, this little section right here. That's where your TV is connected to your antenna on top, oh, okay. your digital mm -hmm. antenna on top, but I want to show you something. 
So if you you can look in there, y'all see that green light that's on? Yep. That's more or less just letting you know, okay, your digital antenna is on. This is what's giving you the signal now, okay, throughout your trailer. Okay. Okay, so if you go somewhere, whether it be at home or at the campsite, and you want a satellite or cable to come through, you would hook that up on this side, the input on the outside, and you would press, it's like a little black button in there. Yeah. You press that, that green light goes off, right. and it'll allow the signal from something else to go inside your trailer, throughout your trailer, to your TV. So you're not using the one on Yes, the okay. yes. Whether you plug in satellite or whatever, yeah. cable, yes. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Okay. More storage here. Ooh, More storage here. Okay. And I believe this will come out if you need it to. Okay. And this little document here, just letting you know that your trailer is wired for a solar panel. So if y'all decided that you wanted to install a solar panel, it's pre-wired inside the room. It would just have to be a little panel cut out in the wall in the room because it's wires already there. You get a digital screen and of course your solar panel would be mounted on top. Okay. And it's already wires up there for it just to connect into your trailer. Almost plug and play. Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember you asking me about what powers what? Right. Yes. So this is called the converter. Okay. Yes. So this is part 12 volt part uh, like your, your breakers at your house. This is spring loaded, so to open this, you just put your finger and push that, it'll come open. Okay. So you got your circuit, you got your refrigerator port, and you got your settings here on your temperature, and you just push your finger up to open your freezer. Nice. Yeah. That's a deep freezer too. Yeah. Wow. And it's all 12 volt. So as long as it's plugged into something or if it's running off your battery, it'll be on. Nice. Okay? All right. That's plenty of room for beer. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got your microwave, just like your uh, home microwave, but before we get to that, you do have like the ability to track your trailer, and this, it has a tracking unit that's, that's on the inside of it, and it's just giving you information on it, if you ever want to set that up and track your trailer. Say, okay. for instance, you have your trailer in storage, or you got it out on some property, you can track it. Make sure it's still there. Yeah, make sure it's still there. Uh, to open your uh, microwave, just push that. It's just like your home microwave, just a little smaller maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is going to be your your uh, vent hood setup right here. You got your switch for your fan and your switch for your light. Okay. okay. And it does have like a little filter in there if you ever want to clean that. Just put your fingers in there, push or pull. And you can, this is your filter here, oh, okay. and you can just take that out and wash it with Rinse soap and water. Rinse yes. Okay. Yes. And you see how it's got the little pegs right there and there, the little cutouts? Yeah. It just goes back up into place. Come on. Oh, I missed the back. No, it's up there. Just looks a little weird. I missed one of them. I guess they were in there. It's just a little bent out of oh, shape a little bit. bit. Yes. There we go. Okay. On the lighting and the opening of your burners on your stove. So to open this, this folds up and back. And after you use your burners, you want to make sure this is cool to the touch because if it's still hot and you try to close that, it's right going to crack that. Yeah, yes. Right okay. Um, to light that, this part is going to be your striker, more or less your, your electronic igniter. Mm -hmm. And to light these, just like it says on your little diagram here, it's going to be for that burner, this for that one, this goes to that one. So you turn on which, whichever one you want, and it'll light it. Of course, like with gas, you just have to remember if you don't light something fast enough, say for instance, you have that one lit and you open the valve but you don't light it fast enough, it'll just pull the flame from the next one. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. And of course, you've got your settings on it from the biggest dot to the smallest dot. Super hot, kind of hot. Yes. Okay. And you see how it went from that color to red? Right. So as long as it's on, it'll be red. Okay? Okay. 
Um, over here, you can light these up if you like. It's a switch. So you see the first line on this switch? Mm -hmm. It'll light these knobs up on the top. And that little circle in the middle will turn them off. And the two lines, it'll light those up. And it'll light that light up in the oven. Okay. Okay? And of course, right now it's blue, but if you ever decided to turn them on or use the burners, it'll go from blue to red. Yes. And so to light the oven, you'll turn that. And if you'll look in there, you'll see. I'm going to turn that off so you can see it better. See how it's got like okay. that little spark in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is how you light the oven. It's a little bit different from that, but similar. So you see the flame icon like you did on those? Right. And of course, when you want to light these, you line the, the flame icon up with the arrows. Right. So you line that flame icon up with the arrow, push in and hold it. And while you're holding that in, you turn that. You see how it lit that pilot back oh, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once that lights, you can release that button and you can turn it to the desired temperature and it'll light that up. Oh, okay. okay? Yeah. That's and, interesting. Yes. So for the first five or ten minutes, that oven, since it's, everything is new, right. it has a coating in there. For the first five or ten minutes of use, you'll see a little smoke. Okay. And after that, it'll, that coating will burn off and you won't see any smoke anymore okay. unless you're burning something. Well, that's possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Okay. Down here is more storage. Oh, yep. Okay. Over here, back to your pass through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on the other side. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Right here. This is going to be a little extension of your cabinet area. So you raise that and it'll lock in place. Okay? And to uh, more or less put that back into the uh, closed position, you raise that up, push that in, push in, it'll allow you to fold that back down. Okay. Okay, more storage here, more storage here, more storage here. Okay? This little wire that was, that was in there, it comes inside your blue bag that has all your manuals and your warranty stuff. Mm -hmm. All that is, is like if you use like a little portable solar panel, on the outside it has a spot for you to connect that to on your bumper. Okay. And you can use like a little smaller portable solar panel. Solar yes, panel. yes. Okay. Okay. Over here, you got your little uh, pop-up area. You got two USBs. You got your two 110s. If you want to close it, just push that in. It'll go down. Such a it is. When you want to bring it back up, push it. It'll lock in place. Nice. And of course, your mini blinds, just like at your house, they operate just like the ones at your house. But if you notice, this is the only one that's metal. And it's because it's by the, the fire, the flames, right. whenever you use it. So it doesn't catch. Yes. That makes sense. So you got another light here. Light that up. Got a strainer for whatever your dishes that you're drying or whatever. And this does roll up for storage. And you can use this. This is a little cover for your sink, but you can use it as a chopping board. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll we'll go ahead and try the water. So just like at your house, you got your hot and your cold, right? Right. And remember we're boondocking or dry camping. So we're pulling water up from the fresh water tank using the pump. Right. So turn that on, we got water. So we can check to see if we got hot water. If we still got the, uh, let's see, did we turn it off or did we leave it on? It's hot. It's, all, it's hot? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's still on. So we got the electric heater on and we got the pump on. Okay. And we're pulling water up. Is that hot enough? It's hot. Okay. It's hot water. So you got the coal and this does extend down as well. Oh, so you got the, uh, the steady spray of water and you got the stream. Nice. Using that little button back there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Back there. Uh, and I believe, unless y'all, well, we got storage up here. In that little blue bag, it's going to be where all of your information will be, your warranty information, manual information. And remember, we talked about the uh, tire pressure monitors. Oh, yeah. So some trailers come with that, some trailers don't. And this is what will be screwed onto the valve stems of each tire and tell you the tire pressure and the temperature of each tire that's oh, okay. on here. Yeah, that you can hook up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. You can hook that up with your phone, and it'll give you that information. Okay. And your microwave is the only thing that's plugged into that circuit. You see how it's just one plug? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's what's plugged up right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, vents. 
and your AC vents. And so all of your vents, you can either open or close them by pushing that in or out. Mm -hmm. You can turn them to different directions. Okay. Okay? Yep. All of these type of vents. Like the airplanes. Yes. And uh, you see how it's got that little condensation right there? Right. That's because I've been opening and closing the door, but I got the temperature on it pretty cold. So okay. that, that's, that's why it's like it's just that. Just a little condensation. Yes. Okay. And so this is a vent right here. If you come in and you want more or less a blast of AC in this area, this vent is closed, but this is what this is for. See how it pretty much drops it down in this area? That's my favorite thing. Yeah. Yes. The yes. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that is cold. Yes, yes. And so with that closed, it just pushes the AC throughout the vents, oh, throughout your okay. trays. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yep. And I believe that's it in here. Unless y'all have any questions, we can go to the. We can move on. Okay. We'll close out though. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> spread, spread the AC love. Sure. Okay. So that's nice and cold in here. So if you look to that uh, left corner right there. That controller, that's going to be the solar panel that's installed oh, okay. on this trailer. So it has a solar panel up top installed, okay. and that's the controller. It just shows you what's incoming and what's being stored and what's, what the battery output is. You have different buttons you can press that you can see what's, what's going on with okay. it. You don't have to do anything to it. It's just letting you know what it's taking in from the sun and what it has in the battery. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So behind you, that's another emergency exit window. Opens just like the other window. Yep. You push that inward and then pull up. And then you push that out. Of course, you can pull the screen off if you need to. Yeah. Or if you wanted to just push it out a little bit, you can you know, use it as a vent. Yeah, like push it out more and it has a little lock in place on it. A little more. See how to catch that right oh, there? Oh, and okay. you can use it as a venting window. Got it. Okay. Got it. Uh, beside you is storage on each side there, and then storage here. Okay. Uh, this side has a little hanger rod for like if you want to hang your jackets or whatever. Yeah. Uh, like in the back by the bed in that back corner, you got your little blue light thing going on. Yeah. It's controlled by a switch over there. Okay. okay. Same as this one. This one has its own, just like that side. Okay. Okay. You got your two USB connections there, two USB connections here, and your electrical outlet there, electrical outlet here. Okay. Okay, you getting tired? No. Okay. Oh, you just saw about? that, she saw that bed and started uh, yawning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so these two lights right here, they operate the same in their touch. So if you touch the little disc that's on it, Touch it one time, touch it twice, see how it changes. What are you? Yes. Okay. The other one operates exactly the same. Okay. Okay? Yep. Right there you have a shade at the head of the bed. You have a sweet spot on it, so if you pull it down so far, it'll stop. Okay. Okay? Got it. Um, you do have storage under your bed, under it halfway. So <laughs> You just grab it here and raise it up. That's your storage area okay. right there. Okay? Yep. Uh, of course, this is a aftermarket uh, AC unit, or it's a separate AC unit that's in, for the bedroom only. Okay. So if somebody in there, they didn't want AC, you can have your AC on in here. Okay. And these two vents are actually connected to that AC unit in there. Got it. And of course, if you just want it to be hot in here, no AC in here, you can actually close the vents so everything will stay in there, okay? And this AC unit is just like the other ones. You see how everything is blasting down right now? Right. Oh, there you go. Close that little bit. Yes, you can close that, but that's the only vent for here. So if you close that off? It's, it's going to close this AC vent off in here. Okay. Yes. And it does have the controller, like it said, for cool. Heat is optional, so on a lot of the AC units that's in the bedroom, if it has a heat strip in the AC unit, mm -hmm. you'll get heat in the room. Okay. But a lot of them don't. You have to special, well, when you order your trailer, you have to tell them, I need a heat strip in my AC unit. Right. Other than that, all of the heat is coming from the furnace, either coming okay. from the floor or the side. Okay. Okay?
So you have the controls up there. You can go from cool to off or just fan. And you can adjust the, temp the temperature here from the warmest to the coldest here. Okay. okay? Yep. Uh, of course, you got your two lights. And that switch is right here. Okay. Okay? Right here behind me, this is a safe spot if you wanted to install a TV and mount like a swivel mount right. or whatever. The sticker just said, okay, this is the spot to do it that's right here. It. Yeah, that's where you have the stud and the support back there to hold that TV. And that's something you would get from the parts department? Yes. Essentially? Yes. You know, your... Yeah. Okay. Yes. Got it? Right here, this is going to be your coax connection to get your digital signal in from here to your TV. There's an electrical outlet. Got a storage area over here. Oh. Got a mirror in there. Another rack to hang up, whatever. And you got some uh, like storage spaces as well. Closet. Yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty deep in yeah, here. Yeah, it's a big closet. That's yeah. a big closet. Okay. Okay. All right. And like I said, storage here. You got the little cubbies back there. Yep. And of course, this window is a little different. But it's still crank out like the other windows. Okay, let it pop out. Yes. Got it. And like if you have your trailer stored up and the windows is like this, and if it if it gets really hot inside the trailer, these have like a good seal on it. So once you turn as far as it'll go, it might take a little longer than a couple of seconds, but you just turn as far as you can, it will pop out like the other one. You let it give it a second. Yes. Okay. Don't try to force it or you could bend the rods on them. Okay. Okay. And I believe we might be done. Yeah. Oh, and then your, your door over here, just like your front door. You can exit here if you don't want to, if you wanted to avoid the people in your living room area <laughs> or whatever. Just make sure you take the steps Yeah, out. make sure the steps are folded yeah. down. <laughs> yes. That would be a, a nice tumble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll, that'll wake you up really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I believe that's it. Y'all have any questions or anything? Need to go back over anything? You want to go walk on the, the roof or? Yeah, get on the roof. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I know some customers do like, can I, can I get up there? Can I look? I did it so, one time because I thought I was brave, but once I got up there, I was like, get me down. Get, uh, now, <laughs> now. That's Especially on the fifth wheels. I was on one of oh, yes, that's it's pretty right. high up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Bot RV.